Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. This is Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. This is what I'm going to be setting up today, this large walking greenhouse to um, use to overwinter some of my tropical um, and not frost hardy um, plants. So these are the dimensions of it. I bought this from Argos and it cost £50. Do need to do a good tidy up of the garden. It looks a bit windswept. You can see an allocation in the background there that's been blown over. And generally the garden's looking very messy. So tidy up day as well. So it's all set up now. It took me about half an hour. Um, I'll just show you to the back of this greenhouse, uh, to the side. I've kept the frame from the old polytunnel. Um, I'm going to use that to keep this uh, plastic greenhouse anchored in. So it, the, the polytunnel frame um, has got sandbags weighted down and I'm hoping that that will be enough to keep this greenhouse from flying off and you know, being blown over in the wind. So we're inside here. Um, I need to get some bark chippings down on the floor. Um, just give you an idea of the height, it's about six foot in height. Hopefully that'll be tall enough to accommodate, you know, some of my um, non-frost uh, hardy uh, plants that I hope to bring in here. Uh, to the side there you can see there's an olive tree. I've had to trim that back. And at the back as well, I've had to trim back some um, violet bushes and there was a, a rose bush that I've had to cut right down and hopefully those olive branches don't poke through they're fairly soft and bendy not got sharp edges ideally I could have uh, lifted it out but that's too much work um, so I'll leave it where it is and it might act as a windbreak you know um, keep the um, polytunnel from moving so now I've got the plants in, I can show you what's in here. So I've got my Maya lemon in here, and that's the one I got in 2016, or Ikea lemon. Somebody actually said it's a Eureka lemon, so I'm not sure. And this is the Washington Naval Orange tree, one of two. Uh, there is the other one. And at the back there, I've got the Moussa Baj Jew. And I've got my large taro or giant alocasia and this is the oak leaf papaya my two roll grown from seed and this is the bergamot orange and I've got my bougainvillers three bougainvillers up here on the shelf so they look very cozy in here and it smells wonderful it smells really strongly of citrus uh, lemony orangey um, smell so I think I can squeeze a little chair in here maybe be a nice place to sit when it's really wet and windy outside and maybe get some more plants uh, squeezed in on those shelves so let me know what you think of this setup probably need to get some fleece in here when it starts to get really cold you know just for extra protection because I won't be providing any other kind of heat in this uh, greenhouse so thanks for watching everyone take care bye bye